now, friends, it is my honor and privilege to provide some of my own words of reflection and quote-unquote wisdom, such as it is, on this matter of graduation. It's not lost on me, like so many other commencement speeches or graduation ramblings, the importance of keeping this short and sweet, as there is no skip ad button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. But Ivy seniors, we go way back, don't we? In fact, I knew many of you years ago before I even taught you because of your brothers and sisters who went through the program. Others of you I met for the first time when you volunteered during Teacher Work Week or our very first IB mini retreat on a hot August morning in 2016. It's funny, even though I had never had the honor of being your teacher, except for that last month or so of your junior year, it really didn't take long for me to get to know you all, not only as individuals, but as this amazing group, this amazing, tight-knit, creative, energetic, compassionate, caring, and thoughtful group that you would become. It is also a rare occasion when a teacher has the opportunity to both begin and end the high school journey with a graduating class. After all, you all were my first freshman group when I came in as coordinator in 2016. What was interesting, at least that first year, in so many ways, we were learning IB together. Sure, I had taught IB before, uh, but in that first year of organizing picnics at Robius Landing or hosting open houses and specialty center fairs, you all, my dear seniors, were all ready and willing to jump in, ready to help out and to do your part. And as a new coordinator, I was just trying to figure out what it meant to be an IB student, and more importantly, what it meant to be an IB student at Midlothian High School. I truly feel that this was the year that we began forging what has now become the Midlow IB community that it is today. And this group was so vital in helping us create that definition together. I feel our school and our program owe you a debt of gratitude, as never have I witnessed a group who has coalesced, collaborated, and conquered, quite like the class of 2020. And along the way, we were introduced to a few new cast members who joined our ranks, either in the 10th or 11th grade. And sadly, we had others who had to leave us for other horizons and other districts or even other time zones. Just as you, all will soon embark on your own post high school journeys. Now I know none of us have a crystal ball to see what our immediate future will hold, but when campuses open and classrooms open at Virginia Tech and UVA and William and Mary and VCU and U of R and American University and don't forget George Mason, we will all be ready, not just to get out of the house and to shed this restrictions of COVID-19. No, we will be ready. Education is not just the content we learned in our classes, and nor is it summed up by the many acronyms that seem to have narrated our lives in the last two years. EE, TOK, IA, RPPF, TKPPD. Benson, I believe you have the full list. No, true. True learning is the amalgam of all of the true in real life interactions that we have had along the way. And I am confident that these lessons are beautifully and intricately etched into your memory. I'm also confident that you will take that learning, that education with you to whatever pocket of the world you may hasten to after high school. I think you'll find that it won't be very difficult because you'll find more and more that though Midlothian High School and the IB program don't define who you are, they are a significant part of who you have become. And the amazing adults and thinkers and artists and professionals and citizens that you will be. And so, class of 2020, may the template for learning and laughing that you have collectively built here at Midlow be the foundation and the blueprint for all of your future successes. I have enjoyed growing alongside you and learning with you. Congratulations, friends, and Godspeed. Thank you.